Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you how to connect a headset to your Microsoft Teams application and the best way to actually get it connected and working properly. So let's get started right now. For those of you that are new here, my name is David. This is the channel Headset Advisor, where we review and compare the latest business headsets, speaker phones, and webcams to help you make a better buying decision. So consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. All right, the first and my favorite way to connect your headset to Microsoft Teams is with a uh, Microsoft Teams certified wireless headset, just like this Jabra Evolve 275. This is a wireless headset that has a Bluetooth USB adapter that plugs into the computer. The way that this is going to connect is you have your wireless headset, of course, it's charged up and turned on, then you're gonna make sure that your USB adapter is plugged into your computer. Once that's happened, your computer will recognize the headset and also the USB adapter. Then what you're gonna do is you are going to go to your Microsoft Teams client. You are going to go to the top right of the screen where you see the three dots and you're gonna to go to settings. Once you're in settings, you will go to devices, then you will see uh, the variety of devices that are available for you to select. You are going to select the Jabra Link 380 in this particular case, or whatever wireless headset you have connected. You wanna double check that the speaker and the microphone are both connected to the Jabra Link 380 in this case. What you're gonna do is you can make a test call when this happens. Now you'll see that it is uh, having a call now. And what happens when you test the call, you can, you can do your test, but what you can also do with a certified headset like the Jabra Evolve 275, is you can actually press this button on the side of the headset and that actually turns off the call. You can actually answer and end the call wirelessly up to about 50 feet away from your computer. So if you wanna go grab a cup of coffee and don't wanna miss a very important call coming through on your Microsoft Teams client, this is how it would work. It works very uh, seamlessly and easy. So that is the best uh, way to connect to your Microsoft Teams. And if you need help finding a certified headset for you and your team on your Microsoft Teams client, we actually put together an automated quiz. Go to headsetadvisor.com backslash quiz, and that can get you matched with the right headset for your unique situation. All right, the second way to connect to Microsoft Teams with a headset is with a wired headset. Now this is one of my least favorite options, but I understand for some people, wired headset is all you can work with or that's just best for your situation. Understandable. So what you'll do is you will make sure that your headset is plugged in via your USB cable. So go ahead and plug it in. Let your computer um, load the headset it's gonna take a few seconds for it to be available for you to select. You're gonna do the same thing on the computer. Go up to the three dots, go to the settings, go to devices. And in this case, we got the Discover D722U. And you wanna make sure that it's both the speaker and the microphone. So in this case, with uh, the Discover D722U, it does not have remote answering for Microsoft Teams. So you won't be able to press the button on the controller to be able to end the call. You would just have to click the leave button in order to end that call, but you're wired so it doesn't really make that big of a difference. So that's how to set up your wired headset with Microsoft Teams. If you're having troubles finding the device in your Microsoft Teams, you can always go to your uh, settings, your audio settings on your desktop, go to sound settings, and then you'll see uh, both your output, meaning uh, your speakers and your input being your microphone, and make sure that your uh, headset speakers and mics are set to your headset 
through your sound settings. Once that happens, then you can go back to your Microsoft Teams and it should be there. You may need to restart your Microsoft Teams client in order for it to show up. Now, if it's still not showing up here, you could always go to uh, manage uh, devices and you could see that um, sometimes there would be a disabled uh, headset here. So if your headset is disabled, you can just click it and click enabled and that will get it so that you can actually select that device on your computer. The third way is through a Bluetooth connection. So I have a Bluetooth headset in front of me. This is the OpenCom Bluetooth wireless headset. Really cool headset, by the way. I'll put a link to this product in the video description. It uses bone conduction technology, which is not speakers. It actually sends sound through your jawbone directly to your uh, inner ear. So it's pretty crazy technology, really cool. But anyways, you're gonna put your headset in uh, Bluetooth pairing mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on this headset here. Just a few more seconds, holding the power button. It is now in pairing mode. Then on your computer, you will type in Bluetooth and pull up your Bluetooth settings on your computer. Then go to add Bluetooth device, go to Bluetooth, and then it's going to search for the local Bluetooth devices. And you're going to find your headset listed on here. And there it is. Go ahead and select the headset, making sure that your uh, Bluetooth headset is actually paired up to your computer or your laptop. And you may want to double check your sound settings like we did back with the wired one. So as you can see, my headphones is set to open comm, but my microphone was set to the real tech audio. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that to the open comm. All right, and then I will close out of this and hit the three dots go to settings, go to devices. And as you see, I have the OpenCom set as the audio device, as well as um, those two devices. So let us go back to the test call. So when you have a Bluetooth headset just paired up directly to uh, the headset or directly to the computer, you have uh, the same thing that the wire headset has is you can't click the button on the side of the headset in order to answer or end the phone call on your computer. You'll have to go over and click the end key or answer key if you have an incoming call. So that is the third way is with a uh, Bluetooth uh, wireless headset. So again, my favorite way is the number one method is using a uh, certified Microsoft Teams headset. And if you need help finding that specific headset, please reach out to us. I will put a link in the video description below, or you can go to headsetadvisor.com backslash quiz, and we can match you up with the best headset for your unique situation. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, so make sure you hit that thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tips just like this video. And if you uh, wanna check out the full in-depth review of the Job Revolve 275 that we showed earlier on in this video, check that full in-depth review video out right there. Think you'll enjoy the noise canceling microphone on that headset. It has eight microphones built into that headset. Pretty crazy. Well, that's all I got for you. Thanks a lot for watching this video. We'll see you next time.